mostly on the Sunny B header cards. Yeah. Um, it's, well, it is technically like experimental. Okay. So the tongue will drift up, but with strong farmer, you also got to do is pick the actual yeah. header up and it'll, it'll drop it back so down. So is it better to leave it up to something? Sometimes, yeah. So we need to buy some daddy tractors for that. Or pickups. Wow. What we find? Wow. Yeah. This is what it is, you know. That's yeah, not that big of a deal. But if we did have two two plows, Chad, I would definitely like to add the uh, feed. Because yeah. Just the thing to do. Hey, what was that? Thing? Well, oh, that was selling the cultivator. Yeah. Well, I repainted it and repaired it. Before. Okay, no. It's There are the new Vulture tractors. Yeah, I don't know that we'll get any of those, Sean, but they are in here, yes. I was right, Troy. It is the dead furrow, but it's two, yeah. not just one. Okay. Yeah. It's two. You'd go down, plow, and then come back right on the other side of that and plow. And you'd end up with quite a mound of dirt, although they wouldn't be right next to each other. You'd leave a little, you know? Yeah, there's going to be a ridge in between them. Yeah, that is the one problem with plowing, is you end up with a ridge on one side and a furrow on the other. But it is what it is. It's what the hair was for. For the field cultivator. To help fix that. I wonder my dad used to plow. He always put the dead furrow right in the middle of the field, so whenever he goes back and cultivate it, and smooths it out. Yeah. Makes sense. Now, what you're referring to on the side of the field when you start out plowing is called a back furrow. A back furrow? Uh-huh. And that's like the, the empty one? Yeah, that's the empty one on the edge of huh. the field. I don't know what that... Uh, I'll have to ask Dad. Ask him what they call it. Back furrow, huh? Hmm. Interesting. I've definitely heard him use the term uh, dead furrow. But I didn't remember what it meant. Plowing is not something we do a lot of at the farm. Because we have our three bottom plow for the 995. But we quit using the darn thing because there's no gauge wheel. No depth wheel. Right? So it's a, it's a true three-point hitch mounted plow. So you can either be like, you know, three inches in the ground or ten inches in the ground all of a sudden. And then the tractor's not moving. So it's very, very hard to set the depth on that thing. Uh, plus, you know, if your front tire hits a bump or, or something, well, that adjusts adjust the angle of your, of your plow. So then it's either wanting to, like, jump out of the ground or it's wanting to bury itself, depending on how your front end is, too. So the plow that we got being a toe behind, there's a lot, lot more play there, you know? What? Uh, is that for steering your horses, Troy? <laughs> it might be. Let's see who else answers. <laughs> it's, it's for steering your horses. But do you know which one is which? Uh, that I don't know. Oh. I don't. I've never. I have. Okay. Really annoying story going back at like years now. But you know that. That. Yeah, I think you've seen the video that uh, first time put up. Uh huh. Okay, that day, my uncle had like basically asked all of us to go, and I was told that I wasn't allowed to go because we had to make videos that day. You know, at somebody's house, and apparently the, he was offering to like anybody from the family to like take a take a turn driving the horses. You know. Yeah. Like jump on the plow and go, go plow around, you know? So, but I, I didn't get to do that because I wasn't there. Nobody in the family took the offer either. I totally, I would have been all about it. Although those big draft horses, they're kind of scary. And I'm going to be honest with you, you better be glad you wasn't there. <laughs> Why? They would have drugged you. No, it was, he has a uh, uh, ride-on plow. 
Oh. Okay. Or he did have. He he actually just sold the thing. It was a ride on plow. Yeah, one. It was a one sixteen. Uh, ride on plow. Gotcha. Yeah, he just sold it. He can't. Uh, he can't hitch up his horses anymore. He's 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 a little too old for that these days. But yeah, um, how means turn left and G means turn right. Okay. Interesting. There was actually uh, over at the Pinkneyville farm show we went to. Yeah. There was this guy that my uncle knows. And he's um, he actually the, well a little backstory. Well, I'm not going to go into his backstory. It's, it's an interesting backstory, but I won't go into that. Uh, but he's Amish now, right? Uh huh. He wasn't always Amish, but he is now. And he lives like 20 miles or something from Pinkneyville. And he rode there that morning with his two horses and, and his little buggy. And then behind that, he was pulling like this little cart. And I think, I don't know if he had a, I think he had a plow on there. He had a walking plow. Uh -huh. And then on behind the cart, he had hitched up his youngest horse that he was, he was training. And he rode there 20 miles in the morning. And then he plowed with the team with all three, right? And then yeah. he was riding home in the afternoon, 20 miles. I was like, dude, that's some dedication right there. Just saying. Turn left. Yeah. Yep. Nope. But no, I thought that was kind of interesting that he like rode there and then riding home as you know obviously he's Amish he's not gonna hook him up to a truck and put him in a trailer and take him home with his truck so only thing I can say about the Amish way of life is those are some very dedicated individuals right I'll I'll talk to you more about this guy off stream I don't want to get into oh, no, it too no, much but no. he has a very interesting story that's kind of like wait what but kind of makes sense at the same time you know very interesting. We'll just put it that way. Like I said, he's Amish now. He was not always Amish. Take anything Amish built, buying our houses over in modern day construction. Oh, yeah. And that uh, would have done before uh, most modern day construction, too. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, very, very on it. Um, interesting. All right. Super nice guy, though. I don't think I've ever actually talked to him, but, like, he's a nice guy. Yeah, my uncle has had to... Like, at one time, he pretty much farmed with horses, right? Like, he had his sulky he would sit on, and he would pull his, you know, sickle bar more that has a gas engine, but he would pull that around and, and mow his hay that way, and... He didn't even have a tractor. I think he bought his first tractor after my grandpa passed. He used some of the money from like the farm sale to buy his tractor. So he farmed for a lot of years. I and mean, he doesn't farm a lot. He farms enough basically for his critters, you know, for his horses and stuff uh, to have feed. But still, for years and years and years, he, he farmed with horses. He's got a little two-row corn planter he plants his corn with. Horse, horse, horse pulled, and it's kind of interesting. But he's uh, he's getting to the point where uh, hitching up to horses and everything is getting, getting to be a little difficult for him. So he uh, he has uh, let that go. Plus, I think he's he had uh, a team of three uh, Belgians, I think. Right, big. They're big, massive horses. And, Humongous horses. Yeah, uh, one of them died years ago, and then he just had to put another one of them down recently. But he's down to one, so you're not gonna do much with that. Anyway, so he had to kind of scale it back, decide to sell his plow, and sell off a bunch of his uh, stuff that he would pull with the horses. Yeah. But the man is, you know, what, eight, almost 80? 
or something like that. So, yeah. Something like that. All right, so last we'll get this contract done. Done fast time, huh? Go for the good old fast time and look at all the stuff that is growing. We should get um, harvest contracts up there eventually. Barley. A couple more days for barley. I haven't used the honeybee yet. I'm curious to see the uh, honeybee header. One, you'll have some issues because it's got like a shelf. Yeah. But. Trent basically said just hit it at a different angle, you should be fine. Yeah. So. Probably not a header for crop destruction, right? Because you're going to just drive through and then clean it up later is what I would do. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, right, Trent. And he's a Marine, so look out, right? <laughs> and I noticed I said, is a Marine, not was. Is. Once a Marine, always a Marine. That's right, they get mad at you. And actually, very interesting, he served in Vietnam. And so he was very, like, I don't want to say ashamed, but, like, you know, that was kind of the thing they came home to, you know? Yep. And so for years and years and years and years, you would not have known that my uncle was a Marine or that he served in the military at all. He never talked about it. He still doesn't talk about it, but he never liked anything. And now the man's always wearing his Marine hat and his Marine belt and his Marine suspenders and Marine everything. He wears everything Marine now. It's kind of, yeah. It's kind of interesting. Like, I don't know what happened, but he just... All about it now. And he's very proud that he's a Marine, you know, and I think that's cool. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I got chills just listening to that. Really? Yeah, because my father-in-law was uh, he, he was uh, he was a Marine before he passed away. Yeah, I got you. And he was in the Vietnam era, and me and him sat there, and boy, we had conversation after conversation after conversation. Nice. Because you know, I was in the army, so yeah. I, uh, I used to cut grass for this guy, and he was, I want to say he was probably 90 at the time, and he, you know, wasn't working anymore. He owned a business in town, a very lucrative business that he was in and stuff. And his granddaughter would actually come pick him up, take him to work for like an hour, then bring him home. But it just so happened every week we'd show up to cut grass. He was sitting in his garage waiting for us, and he was waiting for his granddaughter to pick him up and take him to work. And it got to the point there for that one summer where we would show up to cut his grass and I would just go straight to the garage and talk to him and I wouldn't do a single thing for his entire yard. Uh, I was cutting grass with Casey's brother at the time and Casey's brother would just, he would mow it all, he'd trim it all, he'd clean up. And then I was like, all right, sir, I got to go. He just wanted to talk and I was, I was there for it, you know. And that's all they want. They just yep. want somebody to talk to. It was awesome. But Do the boy, same thing with learn. your Navy gear. Well, thanks for your service. Appreciate it. You can learn so much from them fellers, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, he told me, okay, and this guy, you know, this is years ago. And he was like 90 at the time, right? Or whatever. He had in his basement. I never got to see it. But, man, I would love to have had it. He had his dad's anvil. His dad was a blacksmith. And had, a, you know, obviously an old school anvil. And I'm like, man... I'd love to, to have had that, you know? Right? Because I'm sure his kids, like, sold it. Or threw it away, whatever. Because, like, his kids didn't care at all about that kind of stuff. You could just tell, you know? The I would thing, love to have had that thing. The sad thing is, if they if they did move it or tried to move it, it probably took four of them. Oh, I can't it. imagine. Yeah, it was in his basement. So, like, that's not where I would put an anvil. I would have left that sucker in the garage, I think. But at least in the basement, there's no humidity and climate controlled, you know. Uh, Mickey, hello. How's it going? Welcome in. But yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I was like, dang it. I would love to have had that. 
absolutely would have loved to have had that at the farm. Not that I'm blacksmithing, but an anvil would have been nice to have sometimes, you know? Damn. Alrighty, Troy, well, can't you? I'll be back in a little bit. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, so I think we're gonna be go for uh, fast time here in a second, chat. I really want to harvest. I want to use that honeybee header personally. That or should we buy some tractors? What do we need tractors for? <laughs> yeah, seven arm, probably. You want to buy some daddy tractors for those headers? Yeah. Or like trucks, mate? I don't, I don't like the idea of trucks. I feel like pickle trucks are just kind of a joke in this game, honestly. Unless we had like a modded good one, but I don't mess with them, so. I get like two six cars to go with it. That might work. Yeah. We have some five hems. For eight hems. How about the new Vulture? I'm down to get a seven R though, just to have. Oh, hello. That's definitely something I'm okay with. We probably should get a, honestly, like a second cultivator or two. And, uh, yeah, other tractor for that. Uh, Mickey, I'm here till 6. It's, uh, 4.47. I'm here for a while yet. Yeah. I'm here for a while, my guy. All right, so let's look, actually. Because I don't really know what was in that content update, to be completely honest. I have not gone to look. So was all of this added? No. I would say not all of this was added. We got the Q, the T. I don't know what was actually added. What size tractor do you think we need for that, though, left? I know it's... Too heavy for a Kubota side by side. <laughs> Farmer Nick found that out. But, I mean, it's doable. Like a two hundred thousand dollar tractor, three hundred horsepower. That thing's a monster. Two hundred horsepower. This is the uh, fake John Deere that we can make, right? We can color it. Yeah. We can make like the Wish John Deere. It's, it's a wish John Deere chat. <laughs> oh, man. Anything different? Tractor that's usable, or do you just want something to set on there? I mean, probably a tractor that we could use for something else, too. So what if we just, like, two seven R's? Honestly, you know? We know the seven R's are a good tractor. We like it. George will be happy. Yeah. That is true. And then I'm thinking no duels even. It's like... Do they have them with weights? Yeah, with weights. You ask... You don't want... don't need a front three-point hitch necessarily, but we can put one on there. We'll soup them up. Why not? Give them GPS. We'll probably use them for something else, too. So, I mean, that's a $300,000 tractor to pull around a header, but that's okay. But we can still use it. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, it left. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. Don't do that. I have an idea. We're going to RP it, okay? On my way. Help is on the way! We got this. We're going full on. Full on equipment hauling right now, chat. We're doing it. If anything, we should almost get a third sprayer and a third combine. But funds are going to be a little tight for that. And then maybe another cultivator and like a big tractor. 
I would say another cultivator would be more useful right now. Yeah. For because that good. Problem is running three harvesters. You really gotta have a team to help. Especially when you're gonna have three foot yeah. headers. Yeah, you got you gotta have at least two other people. You gotta have five people to run three combines at least. For you know hauling away. One person almost moving material. Yeah, Mickey, I don't know if you noticed, there's a different mod. I put up a, a folder last night. Got everything. Okay, I left. Let's load them. Just download? Okay. Oh, no, my bitrate. Ah, bitrate. You guys hear me still? I hear you. Okay, I bet right it went to zero there for a second. It went to zero and then 14,000, so, you know. Not supposed to be zero. Just, just throwing things. that out there. Yeah. Only a full implant. Oh, but that's awesome. That's really cool, man. Did that strap you down? No. What do you mean, no? Try it again. Right there, you're strapped, right? Can you move? Oh. No. Come on, Bessie. Oh yeah. Unlike a truckload of seven R's coming to the farm, right, Chant? Sarge would be so happy. We could have got one more on there, maybe. I think we uh, it'd be tight, but you get it up on the step deck there. Up on the top part. Maybe. The ramp if the ramp was folded and you had like a loading dock, it would work. Park it on top of the ramp, but Okay. Where's Sarge at? We should park these in front of him. That's what I was gonna say. We should park these in front of Sarge. Definitely back in time. Bro, I finally bought, uh, what is it, Montana? What's that last state that came out for ATS? Montana. Finally bought it last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through Steam for some reason, and ATS popped up, and I was like, oh. I should probably go buy that. And then there was like a paint scheme or two that I bought too. It like, it was on sale. Why not? Paint scheme stuff's always on sale. I feel like, Mickey, you have to rejoin the farm, by the way. Since I put this in single player, everything's messed up now. Everything's broken, Mickey, sorry. You wanna leave him on the truck or take him off? Leave him on the truck would be more dramatic effect. You want to put him in front of Sarge or like to the side here? Front. Like the big bud of horses. <laughs> like that? Perfect. <laughs> oh, we got new toys. Alright, uh, let's go for a fast time because I don't really want to do any contracts that are out, so. Let's do it. Truckload of seven. Let's go, chat. Now, only if they were all, you know, Alice Chalmers, you know. Love me some Alice Chalmers, chat. Photos having issues pulling this stuff, and I think your Alice Chalmers probably would have issues. But we have no, no, no. We got the tractor that'll pull it. Put it on the uh, eighty-five fifty Alice Jummer articulated tractor. <laughs> That's three hundred horsepower. It's the same as the. We will never use it. I, dude, how cool is it though? No. Remember the Traction King? Yeah, I love let's, that tractor. Let's, I can... let's not repeat. That's I can't help that you have a problem with my traction king. 
Same. We used it for a grand total of 30 minutes. No. And then sold it. No, I put hours on that thing. At least like three, right? Right, chat? Roll them. One. Hmm? You would find the footage. What's out there? It's on the YouTubes. The same. It's there. I, I bailed with it several times. I feel like I did anyway. I don't know. You bailed it once and you realized it was dog poop and you No, the Traction King is an amazing tractor. Okay. If you're pulling like a weeder, it would probably be just fine, right? No? Yeah, what did I just see here? Sorry, I'm on Instagram chat. Shouldn't be, I know. But I am. Sorry. Good old Instagram, right? Alright. Can I take a contract? Oh, it's complete. I was like, what? No. Fertilize 27. And nah, we're not going to harvest sunflowers probably, so I'm not worried about that one. I just want the 1, 9, and 14 contracts to come up. And 5, I guess, too. Probably. 5 is solar beans. Money beans. Actually, no, it's not. What is that? It's canola. Oh, canola. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Canola on 17. I'm here for that. I guess we want to take that round of fertilizing contracts that's popping up, don't we? All right. Might be buying our fer uh, third, uh, fertilizer thing like right now, okay? All right. Holy weeding contracts, y'all. Why so many weeding contracts? Alright. Alright, on with the time. And let's just pull the trigger. Do it, chat. Okay, we have one with duels all the way around. We have one with no duels. We must have one with front duels. Or rears only, sorry. Can you do fronts only? Because that would be really dumb. Yeah. Hey. That. We can do that. Really should be checking the sail barn, but you know, way too. All right, let's grab sprayers and better pattern. There's even more now. Don't mind that hill there, okay? Fine. All right. The chat, we're doing it again. Trying to fertilize again. But needs to be done. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to... I was gonna go to the northeast and start up there. Whatever's flashing is where I'm going. So 10, 10 and 5, do those together. Then we'll jump down to 3 after that. That's fine. 14, 9. No, you can do uh, 9 and 15 together. Wait, this is where I want to be. Is... Turned in a little late. <laughs> You're trying to be like Tony, get stuck in the waterway? Oh man, I got, I got four wheel, eight wheel drive, bro. I had to count. Didn't actually have to count. Uh, east, west, I'm assuming on the GPS. Eventually. Okay. 
Better patter and turn it. Okay, turn the auto off. Mickey, are you grabbing that other one? If so, make sure you turn the auto off and turn it all the way down so you can use any. Save us some money. Alright, left, you're going that way? Okay. I'll meet you in the middle. That's fine. It's totally fine. All good. Alright. Oh, yeah, 10's already 10%. Like, we're trained professionals. In fairness, I have been, I feel like I've been logging a lot of hours in the sprayer lately. A lot of fertilizing contracts, but especially like here, I'm hoping to get the harvest contract. That's going to pay off big time for us to go ahead and fertilize this, you know? This will pay off. Oh, this is corn up here. Oh, field 10 in corn. Field 31, field 16. Oh, my God. 16 and 10 in corn. That was a big soybean field. Which one? 12. Oh, 12. Oh, wow. The cotton really has shifted around quite a bit, hasn't it? It's going to be a great harvest. Lots, lots of good. Big fields, good, good crop. It. That's awesome. You just want to go straight from there. That's fine. I'll do the uh, full end row and and then. That is awesome. This is gonna be quite a corn harvest up here. And then. Wow. Thursday's going to be crazy. Actually get on GPS here, okay. Huh. One issue with the sprayer, the turning is just a little delayed. 49.4 is a little better. Is John a little yeah. slower than this? I heard that John Deere one's a lot better. It, it, or no? Yeah, a little better, yeah. Is that the 4940s I was talking about? Yeah, I haven't messed with yet. I heard Trent talking about it. want to make sure you widen the wheels out before you start spraying because it is a little tipsy. Oh, really? Oh, no. I mean, this one's great other than the, the steering speed. But it's not that big of a deal. And the width, with the speed. Yeah. Especially with Thunder's, Thunder's a little slower. Okay. A little bit like a smidge smaller, but Gotcha. It looks it looks nicer though. Really? Looks good. I like it. And then the uh, dry box and the spray box spray application has legs, so when you disconnect, ah. it drops the legs down and you can reconnect to whichever one. That, yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. I think I've run one of those in the past up here in farm stuff. In general. Yeah, no, I did on the uh, Millennial Farmer map. I ran quite a bit. So I did all my lime and, and uh, a bunch of spraying. A whole bunch of spraying like that. And actually, I don't know about you, but like popping the map up to like the number nine, so you can see like what's fertilized across the whole map's kind of nifty. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a, a weird like little perk of precision where it does that. It shouldn't actually do that, but it does, so. I'm here for it though. Definitely here for it. Line up, hit the dip cruise and away we go. Yeah, we're gonna have oh man we are gonna be able to knock this out really fast that much i know
Alright, how far south I gotta go here? Other side of you, right? All the way down here. Almost kind of hard with like the in multiple multiple of us in one field. We can get this thing on the back. <laughs> so you trying to line up? At first, I thought you were dodging the tree, but then I'm. Like... <laughs> well, first I was trying to line up, then I had to dodge the tree. <laughs> it's like I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something though. But you're not supposed to like, you know, be intoxicated driving farming equipment left. I mean, all the other farmers do it, so why can't I? That's true. It says not to drive heavy <laughs> machinery. You know, I saw a TikTok about that. It's like, do they mean cars or do they mean like bulldozers? I you know? think forklifts. That's <laughs> what I, that's my first instant reaction. Wow. Uh, they have to import it from Germany, Baker. Very nice. Welcome in. Holy cow. Sure about what? I'm not sure about anything anymore. Uh, Black Cat, to be honest. It is good to see it, right? It is good to see it. Oh, drinking. I know a lot of people do it, so it is what it is, right? I mean, John Deere doesn't make the uh, air vents the right size to put a, put a can up in your, you know, in your air vent for no reason, right? It fits perfect. But I've seen on TikTok. I've never done it. Never been in a John Deere with a cab, but, you know. Yeah. Maybe someday I'll, I'll get an Alice Chalmers with a cab. Probably not. But you never know, right? Never know. I don't have any plans. Left. I don't want to go that big. Because the, the, the charm of the bee is we can throw it behind the truck on a trailer and take it somewhere. You know, if I get a big tractor, that ain't happening. Okay. I'm going to jump over to five and I'll finish it. Okay, that's fine. Eight fives back here, isn't it? Yep. I can see GPS lines here. I have to raise them up out of the off the ground there, you know. Okay. It happens. Oh, this is a nightmare. You can't. This is, okay. Good thing it spills <laughs> out on the map. That's all I have to say. Because. uh So you think forklifts, that's what they mean by don't operate heavy machinery? What I think. Left ass Phil. Yeah. Have to ask Phil what he thinks of that. Buddy, turn. 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 Alright, so let's go turn our lines up a little bit. Those of you that didn't know, you can just that easy adjust your lines off the ground so you can see them in the standing crop just learned that the other day of course you know most of the time i don't mess with standing crop at least for like fertilizing like this this is not the way i normally play and especially like if we were growing our own crop this is not the way that we would play but it's the way we're doing it you know good Oh yeah, Black Hat. For sure. Pretty sure somebody on Saturday was like, well, you know you can just move your lines up, right? And I was like, huh? What? I remember the old GPS. Uh, the one for like 15 or whatever, where the lines would go out and then they were down low and then they'd go up at an angle and then go out more. I remember that. But I don't... I didn't know how to do it in this GPS. So, never paid attention. Fun to do Kern. Yeah. Kern. Hey, speaking of Kern, that field, guys, field 10, is planted in corn. 
and so is 16 and 31. So we're going to have corn to harvest on this map, y'all. That's all there is to it, you know? We're going to have some corn to harvest, okay? Throwing it out there. Left, what is you? Are you... I'm not on GPS because this feels weird, okay? I'm just... I'm here. You're good. I, I'm here <laughs> for it. Clean I just want to get this... I'll clean Ugh. up your skipper. I got you. <laughs> He's going to follow right behind me. No, I'm just I'll put on GPS in front of you. What are you talking about? Go behind. Oh. No. <laughs> I just can't steer. Uh, Mr. Plugger, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Welcome in, sir. Left said, leave him alone and let him do his thing. <laughs> he also said something farming. I don't know. All right, fine. I'll leave you alone up your left. I'll go down to field 12. That's wrong. Straight, straight down south. Way down south on the Chattahoochee. Down there momentarily. Roger that. But I can get the field started for you there. Start the field and I'm dipping. I'm out of here, Chet. Oodaloo. Let's go, boss, man. Pretty much, yeah. It looks like you got this under control. I'll catch you later. You're welcome. I don't know why I folded my booms just to unfold them again, but you know. It you happens, know, What's up, Troy? Left, that's just so typical of a boss, man. He'd come check on you and then just out of nowhere. <laughs> poof. I told don't him say I... bye. He don't, they don't even say bye. They just leave and disappear. Did I not tell you I was in. leaving? Did I not? Then, it, then they'll show up at the end of the day and be like, did why I... didn't you get anything done? You know? Did I not tell you I was leaving? <laughs> did I not? For sure I did. See, the, the always the excuse I heard was, hey, can you get this done? I got to go run to it and take care of some other business. And you never see him again until the next day. Blogger, are you checking out that map that, like, well, it, it's stupid big? Is that the one? I don't know the name of it. I saw Matt post something about it in Discord the other day. It holds, like, 16, 16x maps or something. Four 16x. Is it four 16s? That's 512x. Things I don't ever want to play on. Apps I never want to play. Part one. <laughs> yeah, there's multiple parts to that one. Yeah. Uh, just saying. That's a little, uh, that's a little crazy, Blugger, huh? I don't know what it's actually called. What's it called, Plugger? Yeah, Plugger says 16, 16x maps, Troy. That is stupid big. My goodness. Slightly. 16, 1600, 16x maps. One field is over 33,000 acres. Character. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Even for like plugger equipment, why? <laughs> I have to come up with a new plugger equipment line just for that map. Walk about creek. How long does it take you to drive to the shop? Like real time, like a couple hours? Like. I need my wheel set up just to haul grain. Please tell. Oh man, course playing auto drive would be kind of lit on there, but man, that'd be laggy. I would assume. <sighs> hey chat, you want to go do a hundred thousand bail challenge? I, I think we found the map. Field seventeen. Well, I'm noticing two new tractors here. <laughs> just for you, Sarge. Uh. uh Matt's mm -hmm. Matt's post says field field seventeen is eighty eight thousand ninety seven hectare acres. That is stupid, but in an interesting way. Going to try it on server. 
Let's just explode the server. Let's go for it. I got a couple extra servers. We can blow one up. I think right. we get a new one if we blow one up. Yeah. 30 minutes to drive from center of a map to edge at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god, plugger. That's, uh, man, you better have 5 million liter trucks, right? Like, five. 20? Five. You, you might need 25 mil. <laughs> Just for the combine. Oh my gosh. All right, boys, we're playing it with stock equipment, in game only. <laughs> gotta go walk my fish. <laughs> What's up, Mickey? I said I gotta go walk my fish then. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash a tree. It's dirty. Plugger, will you come play with me? I need I need help on the map. Nobody else will play. Plugger would play. All your mods need to be enlarged a lot. Yeah. Yeah, bet. <laughs> what are you talking about doing? That map that's 16, 16 X maps. That's how big it is, Sarge. You know, a whole bunch of bailing and stuff. I don't know, 100, 1 million liter, 1 million bail challenge. What do you think? I don't know how we would haul it. Afternoon. Many. Yeah, one afternoon. Yeah, yeah. We got this. One Saturday, we can get it. Only using the game equipment though. Are we, st are we starting at 6 a.m. I or... mean, 24? <laughs> I will try. No DLC. I mean, I, yeah, none of the DLCs would. God. Are we actually talking ourselves like into this? Uh oh. If it was a Saturday, if it was this Saturday, I would do it. Are we gonna have a? Oh my God! I don't know about this. <laughs> Dude, mowing would be, that would be like the Puma Plow thing to do, right? Like mowing, bailing, right? That's very, I know Matt's kind of known for that too, but like I have been accused of all I ever do is bail. So like, you know, might as well bail, right? Bigger go home. Plugger, I need a bail trailer that holds like yes, a, capacity. a thousand bales, okay? Can you arrange that? Yeah, this is this is not going to be like this Saturday. Let's say we're, we're going to have to plan this one in the future. We're going to have to get special mods for this. You know what I mean? Just saying. And soon, gotcha, Sean. Sean, I'm going to help you with that. By the way, just so you know, I'll hit you up later. Just saying. That's why. Yeah, that's why we need to schedule. Dude, if we had, can you imagine having like 16 people? Oh my goodness. I'm just worried about the frames. Oh, <laughs> it'd be non existent. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, you could literally say, next slide, please. <laughs> next slide, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Auto load, or uh, plugger. <laughs> Definitely auto load, sir. No manual. Hello. Anna Montana, no. <laughs> <laughs> all two of the frames yeah dude i'm down for like how many bales could we make i guess like don't don't put out like a number just like how many bales could we make in 10 hours real question is how many bales can we make before we decide to quit the map that's the real question well, there's, no we're playing for 10 hours what are you talking about quit the map there's no quit. like a saturday like do a 10 hour saturday the, the other question is what kind of bales are we doing straw or all grass Oh, probably like grass. We don't have to like combine first, you know. You wouldn't need that map fixed to where it has a grass field first. Oh, there there'd be some setup we'd have to do, sure. Hey, I'm gonna hire this field. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll be back in like three days. I'm going on a vacation. I'm going to Bora Bora for the for a couple of days. I'll be back. Oh, Pledge per bale, like a oh my god. Maybe we just do like a that's fair. That's a great idea. Yeah. All twelve point eight million. That's a great idea though. God. Sean, I actually did start it. I just don't have the link updated on the Twitch page yet. 
Oh my god, they make a lot of silage if you want to wrap all the bales. Oh boy. I don't think that map's going to be on console, so I don't think we have to worry about crossplay in that. <laughs> crossplay, no GPS allowed. <laughs> all right, chat. Here, here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on something behind the scenes, and I'll uh, I'll have something to announce regarding this later. How about that? Because we're gonna have to have like special odds and a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm thinking we tie this in with like charity stuff too. Like we do a, uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah. No, I think that's a good idea actually. Uh, is okay. It's gonna be torture, but like you know. In cab again? Oh God, Sean! No, don't don't you dare, Sean Sinclair! <laughs> don't you dare! <laughs> Sean, Sean's trying to lose his mob status, ain't he? Oh, <laughs> uh, Sean! How dare you! I think you got a you got a, you got a PC? You can tell me you're going cap. No, thank you. Who's doing uh, nine? That would be me. You should go and do eight at the same time, and then just keep heading south and do twenty-four and fifteen all in one shot. You know what I mean? No, maybe. Might work. I'll head over to 20. I, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's a huge... Actually, if we ever, like, buy the fields on this map, 8, 9, 24, and 15, 18, all in, like, all that together. Big old chunk. Pretty sweet. Sean, you think you got a PC? You can tell me to go in cab now? No, thank you. You can say GP. Oh, savage, John, savage. Okay, 12 is done. That's my field. I head over to the bottom uh, left corner of the map. Do some work over there. Here we go. So, Sarge, we bought... Um, we bought those tractors, Sarge. Because we're going to need, uh, apparently, the hitch on that honeybees, like, it moves and stuff. Uh, so it's going to be best just to leave them hooked up. But we can also use that tractor for other stuff if need be. Like, we need to pull the weeders out for feeding contract or whatever. So that's why we bought those two 7Rs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, Troy. Oh, man. Good this be. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... We're going to put our thinking cap on about this, chat. I'm, uh, yeah. Because really, to me, it doesn't really make a difference if we're bailing all day or if we're harvesting. Like, whatever. We're playing, we're here, we're having fun. Like, that's all that really matters doesn't necessarily matter what we're doing on the game uh to me anyway i'm having fun playing no matter what even doing like sugar cane or sugar beets or potatoes it, it doesn't matter i'm just happy to be playing and having fun and hanging out you know hopefully laughing along the way and yeah that's what matters that is what really matters we got to see if the map will even run on a server for Hours would you think would take to cross that entire field in one swath? Yes. <laughs> John says it should be great for productions. I would imagine, yeah. All map sugarcane harvest? On this map or on the big one? Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's this one, okay, that's one thing, but on the big one, no. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. <sighs> Probably, Troy. That's why we need a lot of us. Can't find the map? I don't know where the map is. It's probably on a Facebook somewhere, right? I'm assuming so, because Kaz, don't, he don't release on nothing else unless it's on Facebook. Oh, it's from Kaz? Yeah. Oh, he made some good stuff, man. 
Yeah, he's he's the one that done Wild Wild, uh, Wild, Wild West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all thought that was a big field or big map. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah, he in, in Matt's post that he posted, he it says uh, Cass says that it holds sixteen of his Wild West maps. That is. Well. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Twenty minutes. Why would that, right? Yeah. Yeah. As long as you ask every 19 minutes, if there's oh. 20 more minutes left. Wait, what? I was gonna say three eternities later. Well, it's not released yet, and it's just uh, okay. It's still being built. All you're saying, okay? Well, Sean, we would have to sell the bales. Like we'd have to be continuously selling the bales. You know, like the, the game keeps track and now we have the bail counter too. Uh, but the game keeps track how many bales. We'll just have to pop it down to single player to see that number. Uh, but yeah, we would have to be hauling the bales and selling them continuously. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna break a server. So the map's not even out yet. Okay, I was thinking it was out. I didn't know that. Okay, then I'm not too concerned about it, but this is something to remember for future. Uh, definitely tied in with some charity stuff. So could be a lot of fun at some point you know like we did uh what was that freedom farms where we bailed the entire thing just because we could kind of the same thing right not saying we're gonna bail that entire map because it would definitely take more than 10 hours to bail an entire that entire map but yeah hopefully it even runs on a server and may not i don't know i don't know i don't know the map might run, but all the modded equipment we put on it might not. Right. Yeah, we'd have to be very selective about what mods and how many mods we put on, actually. To be honest. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, live and learn, and we'll figure it out when, uh, whenever it comes out. I would think we could make a lot of bales, though. Troy, you know that you'll be in there with us and playing. You know it, Troy. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> want, everyone wants to be there for the train wreck. Right? Dude. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine the clips that still come off of that? Oh, my. But well, it's just going to be like frame. 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 Ha, ha, ha. Frame. You know, that'll that'll be the stream that day, right? Insane. But I'm here for it. Your graphics card is gonna be lit up bright red. Uh, yeah, I might have to like turn the AC down and even lower that day. Be hot in here, right, Sean? Right. I hear you, man. I hear you. And maybe we like, you know, open it up to a bunch of people in chat and stuff too. We should hold a guessing competition. That would be cool. Do like a Google, uh, what is it? Like a Google form and people could submit their like guesses before the stream or like before the halfway point or something. Cause you'd have to have a certain point where we cut off guesses, you know? Great idea though. And do like giveaway for it. Yeah. I have to make a, a way for that. If their computer explodes during playing, they can't be, uh, we're not liable for damages. <laughs> <laughs> Sean is like putting his new laptop in the freezer, but like playing, you know. <laughs> Not a bad idea, right? <laughs> Are we just wait for winter and then everybody can just go outside with their computers that day, you know? Global warming. But yeah, it's like 20 degrees outside. Yeah, perfect day to play farm sim outside, you know. You set your computer up outside, then you look through a window and that's how you see your monitor, you know. Be fine. I'll buff out. You'll be fine. Here's something. No, I'm here for this, though. I'm always down for a bad idea on Farm Sim, you know? Never shy away from a bad idea. As long as it's fun, and it will be. All that really matters, right? 
an email. I just got a let. Wait, we just got a letter. Amazon. I don't didn't order anything from Amazon. Leave me alone. All right, not today anyway. Maybe tonight. Not yet. Not yet. Right. We are doing a uh, a fantastic job of like keeping money on this map. By the way, y'all notice that? Great job. Very proud of us. For once, we actually have money. Of course, we're not buying land. But proud to have to. Yeah. And yeah, we do like kind of need to keep some money just to have money, right? For you know, buying fertilizer, fuel, and stuff. Although we do have those bales sitting there. That's that's at least a few dollars. Kind of chilling there. He's done up in or whatever that was up there. Eight. Whatever it is up here, this field needs it. Oh that that worked well. Come on. Okay. And whoever comes closest to the number of bales that we make gets to come to St. Louis and drive my Alice Chalmers tractor. How about that? <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? <laughs> Definitely joking, chat, for the record. Oh, I did tell Tony the other day, told Zach that I'd let him drive my tractor. He can do some plowing next year, maybe. I gotta teach him first. It's not a not a complicated tractor to drive, I would assume it, you know. Got a clutch and brakes and gear shift and well, you know, a steering wheel. About it. Does have a hydraulic lever, but we're not going to be using that. So yeah, raise and lower the plow with, you know, a rope. Oh. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal, though. Alright. Yeah, that map sounds absolutely crazy big. Wow. Oh, sign. Found the sign, chat. I saw the sign. One second, chat. All right, sorry, I'm back. My aunt just came out of here. She goes, Dad's home. Said, yeah. And she goes, we got to start this thing called dinner, right? I was like, yeah, what time is it? It was 530. I said, what time do I stop streaming? She goes, oh, I'm back in the house. I stream till six, chat. That's okay. Actually making dinner tonight. I'm kind of nervous about this, by the way. Y'all know, like, the meat and everything for me, right? You know? I've decided I'm making tacos tonight. So. I haven't had taco meat that I've made at home in forever. Nah, Sean, he's home right on time. He gets off at 5 o'clock. And it just, sometimes he's home at 5, 15, and sometimes he's home at 6. It kind of depends on what he has going on. And, uh, depends if he's, like, dropping parts off here or there or yonder on his way home, you know? I, that's exactly what it is, the man. Yeah, she's hungry. She's very, 
it's this time I need to eat. It doesn't matter if she's hungry. It's her stomach's controlled by the fire watch, you know? Like, that's what it is. So, she can wait. It'll be okay. But anyway, I'm making ta uh, tacos and a tater casserole. That's what I'm making. So, I'm a little nervous about the tacos. But I might just be eating tater casserole. <laughs> we'll see. But that's okay. It should be interesting. It should be very interesting either way. All right, so we've got 15, okay, 20, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, the man just come on over and grab you some. I'll make extra. <laughs> I don't know how to cook for like a couple people, if that makes sense. Like I cook for like, you know, Hey, uh, Troy, Sean, can we, can we ban this hot dish guy? I'm joking. Don't actually ban him. Prank, don't do it. Hey, well, guy, it's, it's, it's casserole, my guy. I'm from St. Louis. It's casserole. You can call it whatever you want. I don't really care. But casserole. And really, it's it's almost not even a casserole. It's more of a side dish because there's no meat in it. <laughs> it's kind of just a, I guess I don't I don't know what you call it. It's casserole, in my opinion. Trey, some people call casseroles hot dishes. Some people. I don't know, man. Never understood it personally. A lot of people from like farther north call them uh, hot dishes it's a casserole for me dog casserole there you go yep. it's a casserole for me dog how's it going chat welcome in, guys a hot dish is a glass dish that's been in the oven for an hour okay but a casserole is what's inside of it right Green bean casseroles. They call it green bean hot dish. Just saying. Nothing weird about that, right? Nothing weird about it, chat. But that's okay. It's a it's a regional thing. Like, is it pit corn, harvest corn, shell corn? Regional thing. Really all it is. Whatever your parents called it. Whatever, you know? That's okay. How do I make my tater casserole? It's about to turn into a cooking with John episode, uh, uh, stream real fast. Let me get a USB extender and I'll run my uh, webcam in the kitchen, okay? Joking, chat. We'll switch, we'll switch to webcam audio for this. That would be the worst thing ever <laughs> for the record. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, thing of, like, your frozen hash browns from, like, you know, the, the store. Uh, I actually use, like, the round ones you buy at Hardee's. It doesn't matter. Any kind of frozen potato, like, you know. Ooh. Thanks, Sean. Sounds pretty lit. Uh, basically, it's just any of those generic potatoes, you know, whatever. Uh, one bag of those. Uh, stick of butter melted, poured in a bowl. Uh, 16 ounces of sour cream in a bowl. And a cream of chicken soup in a bowl. You measure cheese with your heart, if you know what I'm saying. However much you want. I think it's only supposed to be uh, two cups, but, you know, you just measure with your heart. Uh, and then throw the taters in, stir it all up real good, throw it in a casserole uh, dish. And then we sprinkle uh, cornflakes on, on top. Some people do 
Uh, potato chips or... L3FT 43-inch yeah. Airdex 100 when cooking with John Stream. Never left. Thanks for the bits. John, that sounds pretty good, man. Not gonna lie. Sounds pretty great. But, uh, yeah, so that's just cash. I'll bake it for 35, 40 minutes, whatever. Depends how long you bake it if your taters are frozen or if they're thawed. The taters have been laying on the counter since uh, before stream. The bag of potatoes, not the act. I didn't dump them all over the kitchen counter. They're in the bag still. But they're laying on the kitchen counter right now. So, yeah. So they should be thawed. Sometimes if they're frozen and I want to, like, heat, uh, heat them up, I'll throw them in a serving bowl. Put them in the microwave for, like, six minutes or something. And it just thaws them out real nice. So, Sarge, you improve your tractors or no? Yeah, those are fine. I thought you'd like it because it's your 7R. All right, so that is done. But I bet there's going to be more. Yeah, field 16. Oh, that's the one we want to do, right? That's going to be corn. Yeah, we want to do that one. Head to 16, boys. With the uh, fertilizers. And 26. Yeah. We'll do that again. And that'll probably eat up our uh, air chat. They call them sour potatoes. Oh. He had garlic cable. I gotcha. Uh, I've heard the same potato dish called uh, funeral potatoes before, too. Because it's like a big thing at funerals, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we've been making them for absolutely ever. And uh, really enjoy them. I don't make them a ton. I, I do make them a fair bit. And I have a variation where I throw uh, taco meat in it, actually. And that just becomes like this delicious potato-y, taco meat, cheesy, just... Chat, you talk about good. Delicious gastro thing. So, but I gotta have a bigger pan for that, because I'll throw in, like, amount of taco meat but i can't add garlic some of the people in my family they add garlic and all kinds of stuff and it's like don't mess with like name broke don't fix it you know see i grew up in a house mom was not real big on seasonings uh to be honest she didn't really salt and pepper a little bit um in her later years no salt because like she had sodium issues and Issues with salt anyway, so I don't put salt on anything. I eat potatoes with no salt. I know I'm weird, but I'm I'm used to very very bland food. So yeah, so that's how I make my food. I don't I don't season anything, honestly. If Dad or my aunt or whoever wants to put salt or pepper on their food, fine, but I'm not putting it in. Everything. Because, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it, chat. Just saying. Very bland. I do like pepper on, like, mashed potatoes, though. Pepper, that's the way to go, yeah. Pepper on, like, mashed taters, Troy. That I'll do. But no salt. There's enough sodium in, like, the butter and the... All that other stuff, you know? Just saying. Oh, yeah. All right, so chat, I I, I do need to be done about 6 o'clock. Uh, so we got a little bit of time. Uh, I will be back Thursday at noon. And we'll be back on here and probably doing some harvesting. Because, like... All these fields are going to be ready for harvest here in a little bit, so. 
That'll be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Because if you look, we'll definitely have one and nine, 14 and five. Like they're going to be ready tomorrow. Some of that is right. Now the barley's right. So that'll be good. Be good to mess with the uh, honeybee uh, header. I haven't messed with it yet. So. It'd be good. We got the honeybees and uh, be firing those up on those John Deere's and getting it done. That'll be the goal for uh, Thursday, bro. Yeah, be a good time. And then Friday night, I don't know what it, we're uh, what we're doing yet. I'm not sure. Uh, we've been playing Satisfactory on Fridays, but uh, things are changing there a little bit. I know we didn't play last night. I don't know. We'll see. Might play Firefighting Simulator. I don't know. That is a fun game, though. And there are some new missions on there, apparently. I haven't done those yet. How about some railroads online? Again, I'm, I'm joking. But not me. I actually do kind of want to try some railroads offline. Wait. Online, but not on stream. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's been a big update, so... Some battles. Oh, like warships? I don't know. I know. Maybe SnowRunner. I don't remember how much we have to do on the last, like, map that we were playing. I know we have some to do. I just don't remember how much we have to do um, on that last map. But I wouldn't mind jumping in there and then kind of getting ready for this new there's a new uh there's another another map coming out for uh for what's it called for snow runner so yeah off with friends i don't know if we can play that because we cuss too much there was a we played it sunday night in team speak and there was a lot of cussing so I don't know if that one could come back. Just we'll see. Uh, that would mean it would be fun to play for a little bit. You know, maybe we jump in and play. How's our GPS so far off, Sarge? His was off for mine, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's okay. We'll fix it. Now, was your guys' is a rotate or was yours nah, was more south? More south. What I was what on. I did too. Okay. We can fix it. Or like pop the builder over here and fix it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we play like I don't, I don't know, chat. We'll see. We'll see what we get into Friday. But I really wouldn't mind SnowRunner because uh kind of get ready for the next uh the next one you know uh troy i did shift lines but i i reset my lines when i started this field oh i did shift but i shifted back uh are we done done yeah we are done 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 with all of them I set up two lines when I uh, came up here, Troy. Oh, I don't know what's going on there, but it's fine. It is fine either way. Yeah, no big deal. Not a big deal. This Alpha Alpha kind of looks good. I like it, but it's kind of kind of different looking. All right, I'm even going to be a good lad and fill up this time. Normally, I forget to, but I'll do it this time. Mostly because we have this pallet here that we need to get cleaned up anyway. All 
Alright. A sprayer shed. Probably fit one more in here. We're gonna be full. I don't know if we can get another one in here. Probably. Yeah, we can make that happen. We just have to show that we've gone to the gym. <laughs> Work out. That's right. Well, chat, I think we're at a really good place. I don't know. Uh, we don't have anything else to do right this minute. Tiger, you gotta stop, my bro. My bro. bro. Um, contract wise, we are basically shot on for now. There's waiting contracts, but whatever. Uh, I'd rather not fast time and accept a whole bunch of contracts for Thursday because we're gonna leave and come back and then they won't be flashing, you know. So we'll just we'll just let them go for Thursday. Um, is there any other equipment we need to buy? Another I'm sure cultivator. there is. But... Another cultivator? What it hurt. Tigers what will happen every stream, huh, Tiger? I mean... Okay. And make it not happen. I know people that can do that. <laughs> Saying, okay, there's another cultivator. Um, Other than that, do we need a tractor for that? That would... Hurt a... Like a quad, maybe? Something green? I haven't had a 9RX on a map for a while. Right. Yeah, yeah, like a wheeled one or a track? What's the horse? 70... 70, same horsepower. A lot cheaper to go wheels over tracks. with that let's do this uh do we want doubles with weights without weights i think you gotta have duels on a tractor like this right or should we just go like the old triples or singles i mean kind of feel like for the roads it might be better to have tr uh, singles right Maybe. Doubles. Mm. <laughs> Black Cat wants a quad track. You want your quad, huh, Black Cat? I mean, we can. Which one technically has more horsepower? 670 or what's a quad? 692. We'll get a quad track because we can pull hills that way. And there's like no customization. <laughs> I'm down for that. Well, okay. There we go. We have a quad track now. Just for a black cat. We have his quad track now. All right. Let's drive this rig home. It'll still struggle on the hills with this thing, but that's okay. This is a uh, Great Plains. Cultivator that Trent sent me. I don't actually know where he got it. Is it Mod Hub? Facebook mod. Do what? I think it's a Facebook mod. Okay, I say I think it is too. But it doesn't turn on this thing at all. Isn't that one of custom mods uh, mods? Not sure. No. Not sure. We'll see about this real quick. See when it works. Stand by. It's pretty good, uh, good, good size, that's for sure. Okay, as long <coughs> as you don't turn too hard, this actually would be better on a wheeled, uh, on a wheeled tractor, but that's okay. It'll work. Don't turn too hard. If a hitch kind of is tucked in on these, uh, tractor machines, so. Is what it is. We'll go get this parked up. We're gonna scoodoodle out of here, chat. As apparently my aunt's hungry, so I gotta go make. Some <laughs> uh, that's good. 
That's fine. I do drive with WASD, yeah. Sure. Do lightning. I will have a good evening. Not out of here quite yet. But soon. Soon. Like I said, chat, we'll be back Thursday. More farming action. A lot of farming on Thursday. Be here harvesting probably. Probably doing some more fertilizer. I know the fertilizing's getting old, but it helps us in the long run, so it makes sense to do it. Plus, you know, we get paid for doing the fertilizing, and then we get paid when the fertilizing's done, and we get more of the crop to keep. So it's kind of a double, a double thing there. We're getting paid both ways, you know. It just kind of makes sense. Yeah. Car and it's uh, yeah. I mean, you'll get it eventually. Uh, lightning. It took me a while. It definitely took me a while. But you get used to it. A lot of tapping. Not like holding down the keys, you know. A lot of tapping, and and you get to the point where you're just not even thinking about it. Yeah, you'll get there. Blood Wolf, what's up? How you doing? Welcome on in. How's it going? Yeah, like I said, we'll get this parked up. Get on out of here for the day chat. And be back Thursday. I can't believe it's already 6 o'clock. Where did, where did the day go, chat? Vanished. Seems like it should be 3 o'clock at the latest. Really locked in today, you know? Really locked in. We'll leave this one unfolded like we're working on. Apparently we're RPM too. Alright, I was hoping to leave it like half unfolded. It doesn't work. Should be once you turn your engine off, it stops unfolding. That'd be cool. That would be pretty neat. Like your windshield wipers in your car. Right, now this thing will work great. Be nice to have two uh, for doing cultivating contracts. Good size. Very good size. But anyway, this is where we call it for the day. Uh, you guys in uh, Team Speak, thanks for uh, farming along, and I'll, uh, I'll be back later. Alrighty, we'll talk to you after tomorrow. Right. Those of you watching over on YouTube, have a great rest of your day, and as always, uh, toodles.